Hello people of the universe, what is up? Hey guys, basically a bunch of societies of university have now opened up candidate elections so you can apply for a committee next year. And if you want to apply, you need to put in a manifesto and a candidate poster. And with the candidate poster, I was like, why don't I make a statement? Because the position I'm going for is publicity officer. They're the ones in charge of the social media. And the idea of the yearbook photo came because I was looking on TikTok, right? A lot of people have been doing that AI yearbook trend. And I'm not about to put AI on my candidate poster. So I was like, why don't I just make it myself? If I see someone else running for the same position, I'm going to be scared. Oh my God, what happens if they're better than me? First things first, of course we need a wardrobe. It's time to plan my outfit. Welcome to my wardrobe, people. So like, I have like an idea, in, I have an idea in mind. Most of the Pinteresty stuff that I've been seeing, they're mostly they're wearing a schoolboy outfit with like shirt and tie. Rarely, rarely do I see casual outfits. I'm gonna try and emulate that because I do wanna make this as historically accurate. Sweater vest could work. There has been this one outfit that I have been like rinsing and repeating. This shirt with this kind of knitted tie. I think it could work. I feel like this is the most viable option right now, actually. I say rinsed because I have worn it multiple times. Like I think last weekend I literally just wore it again. Thing is like I want to add a bit more oomph to it. I want a black turtleneck. Okay, that could work. I mean, if I want it to look like Steve Jobs, but do I really want to look like Steve Jobs for my yearbook photo? Oh, cardigans. I forgot about these. I could pair these two to I because I wore it one time and I really did feel like. And it did look preppy. Like, I didn't want to use that word because, you know, like, it's so preppy in here. But genuinely, like, I did look preppy. That's the winning option so far. I do have this polo shirt. You know, if I really want to look like I'm in private school. Oh, it's blue. It's blue. I'm going to match with the background. I do have a thicker cardigan. Like, I do have a thicker, I have a thicker hoodie. I have a thick, I'm still very biased towards this option. This could also work with this. Yes, I'm trying to look good for my yearbook vote. My final choice. Or should I wear a black cardigan? No, 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 no. No. Yes, this one. I'm just gonna wear these George just in case I flash a cheek, you know? A little cheeky. <laughs> we have the outfit. I just feel like it's gonna be easier if I just raise my bed and then do the photo shoot on my bed frame. And for the backdrop, I don't actually have the tarp that they use, but I have something similar. It's a blanket. Yeah, it's not the same, but it's gonna make Photoshop in the background way easier. Also, it looks really good on my skin tone right now. Color theory, am I a spring, autumn? Winter or summer? Comments. No, I really, I actually really want to get my color analysis, but like, how much is it? I just like dark colors. Come on, like my soul. Boom. How should I do this? I deduce that this is where I want the camera to be. I'm thinking of putting my mattress balanced on that wall so I can drape the blanket over it. I feel like this is gonna fall off. Okay, let's put the drape on. That actually didn't look that bad. That's my setup. Wait, let me show you how fucking ridiculous this is. Hey, are you, are you, are you, um, nobody needs to know. I'm honestly quite impressed how that looks actually. Okay, it's time to get the certified London look. <laughs> let me just quickly pin my bands back. I'm not doing much. I'm literally just washing my face and putting my skincare routine on. So yeah, nothing too mad, not, not, nothing too mad. Cause like all of the pictures I saw, they had like, um, they put on freckles. Like I'm not, I'm not about to do all of that. Cause I don't know how to do that. Maybe one day if the budget has increased and maybe we'll go the extra mile then. Maybe in third year, if the budget increases, I'll even get props. Like they had a bunch of headphones. And I want those headphones, but I was not willing to buy the headphones because like, why are they so expensive? You know the Marshalls headphones, especially? They look cool, right? But then I looked at the reviews and they're like, oh yeah, sound leaks, bass isn't that good. And I was like, oh. Also, I don't really feel comfortable wearing headphones outside because what happens if someone just goes, you know? It's so easy to, here we go, skin prep. Okay, it's time to get changed in three, two, one. Should I wear my glasses? Boom. I feel like the glasses add to the look. I'm supposed to be accentuating my geeky side. <coughs> it is still scientifically proven that people think that you're more intelligent if you wear glasses. So I'm trying to get all of that added IQ. I really like this outfit. I just don't know wear it too many times to the point where it's just like, you're an outfit repeater, but you're an outfit remember. Like Loki, thank you for remembering. My closet is engraved in your brain. It's time to do the photo shoot. I'm so excited. Like I've never actually put this much effort. I'm gonna be using like my camera up here while I'm taking the pictures. So I'm gonna be vlogging on my phone. Thankfully I can connect my camera to my iPad. So then when I'm, I can like actually see what I'm doing. So then I at least have like some sort of a point. It's working. This looks insane. Okay, I'm, I do have to click the button. So I'm probably gonna like use my toe to do that. Exhibit A, I know this is me flashing my dogs. 
Okay, let's see how those test shots came out. Damn! We are getting serious. We have acquired a ring light, people. good actually oh here, here here's some like before i edit like hello 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 <laughs> and i like my face today for once you know like some days there's just like my face looks like not myself and then it's probably due to like constipation or something and then like a few days later my face goes back to normal like nothing ever happened <laughs> I just took a nap and and now it is time to look at the photos <laughs> There are 233 pictures that I took I don't know how I managed to do that. Myself. Oh great. This is <laughs> We're just gonna have to envision that like it's just this like this parts cropped out. Okay. Oh, this is before I put the ring light on as well I look dazed. I look sedated. I look <laughs> I feel like when I wear my blue light glasses, it, it's like a hit or miss if it looks good enough. You know what? These are good passport photos if they weren't covering my damn forehead. Okay, we brought out the iced coffee now. Oh. <laughs> He's giving a little sultry look to the side. What the hope I'm using that? Hot and humid. Oh, never mind. Not sultry. I mean like, um, well, it could be sultry actually. I look like I'm filming an advertisement right now. It's weird seeing like pictures of yourself. Why are you looking at me like that? Like literally blink. Like please blink. You know what? That's not actually a bad photo. Ew, why am I making that face? Ew, why am I making that face? Okay, stop, stop, stop. This one's pretty cool. It's like, eh, you know? I just wish my wrist didn't look like Harry Potter when he was put underneath that spell. I'm trying, I'm really analyzing these pages. Am I reading the pages? No, that looks uncomfortable. I look really uncomfortable there. Holy crap. Okay, now it's time to edit them. I've already downloaded some backgrounds like these because I tried to like, I got this image right and I tried to do a Photoshop generative fill to remove the person in the photo. It ended up giving me some next level like, what is this? This looks really it's really irking me because the thing is if I crop that where it's just my upper half I feel like that could look realistic. I have no idea though I think that works like this is the best it's gonna get at this point because I have no brain capacity I have so many more photos to go for now. I'll catch you guys on the flip side <laughs> They actually turned out pretty good, you know, like I think because I'm not used to that kind of background Sometimes it just doesn't look real But then when I and then if I look at like two seconds longer I look at my clothes and I'm like, oh wow, it kind of blends with the background And honestly, this is a really good like learning experience as well because I've never used Photoshop this intensely before Here is the finished candidate poster over here Yay! Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next week with another video. Peace! <laughs>